My name is Michael Anthony Connolly, nickname Code Red, and I'm proud to say my wife is the forefront of Seiko. I'm equally as proud to say my little girl is Yuki Marie, who will become well-known in a few years as the Red Widow. What seems like a lifetime ago, Oseko and I wrestled together in the same company. We met it, and the rest is history. We're happily married to this day. Back then, we both actively competed until it shut down. We took some time off to contemplate our futures. I thought maybe I'd wrestle a few more years, get a few more titles. Then Yuki Marie came along, and I didn't really feel much like fighting anymore. Oseko, when you saved our lives, I wanted to just hug you both and never let go. I felt like I didn't want to miss a moment of her growing up, and I don't regret that. When you started your second career, I thought maybe it was just a phase, a temporary thing, maybe a few years, and then that'd be it. I guess I should have known better, though. You always had too much of the old man in you. You always challenged me not just to be a better wrestler, but a better man. However, I've come to realize that I'm not the only one. You do that with nearly everyone you face. You make other wrestlers step up their game, yes, but you often challenge them to be better outside of the ring as well. You often turn your enemies into friends. I've seen all your titles and accolades you've earned in your second run, and I'll admit I'm a bit jealous. It's going to be hard for me to even come close to this head start you have built up but I have to get started sometime. Then there's the matter of our legacy. This infection that spread through not just DCA, but sister companies as well. It's a threat to Yuki Marie's career as well. I want to support her and you 110%. When I came back briefly a year or so ago, I think my heart just wasn't quite in it. Since then though, I've had a change of heart. I've seen the effect you've had on Akira. I've seen the respect of your colleagues. I've seen great talents like Trixie and Takuma. I understand why you didn't ask me before, but when it comes to your list of candidates, you've got a ringer at home. The principal needs all the help it can get if it's gonna combat this threat on all fronts. And I'm stepping forward as a knight for the cause, and I have the enemy in my sights. That brings me to Yuta, a.k.a. Kenshiro Shimada. I'm not going to bag on you for your fake tattoos or your old hairstyle. I actually kind of prefer the old one to the one you're sporting now, bub. Anyway, Bobby Idol already had a go at you about that. So let's talk about your claims and motivations. You're supposed to be the leader of the blood trail and try to float this line of bull about standing up for downtrodden and forgotten talent. However, you're all about threats and violence. First hint, you call yourself the blood trail. Second hint, these tactics of jumping wrestlers from behind or after matches. Third hint, the fact that you're using corrupt McLean to blatantly steal titles or resurrect them without earning them. He loves the chaos and conflict for his precious ratings. Like the old journalism slogan goes, if it bleeds, it leads. However, just what are you doing on TV? None of what you've said or done personally required your presence. As the puppet master, you could have continued to work behind the scenes using a Kaichi or Vincent as a proxy. I'm sure there's some good reasons for that, including the real reason. Maybe you want to be up front like the warrior kings of old, leading the neglected members of the blood trail into battle but I don't believe that. Rather, you want your face out there because you want to be ready to claim the spoils for yourself. You were a wrestler and I suspect you're ready to make your own return as well. But rather than having to scratch and claw and fight your way to the top, you want to step over the broken bodies of DCA stars and have your good little boys and girls of the blood trail hand you titles on a silver platter. That's where you screwed up. We all know you have no control over Akaichi. She likely views you as little more than a useful idiot. However, you're posing as if she's at least aligned with you. So you've proudly taken credit for attacking my wife, 
attacking Akira, hurting Trinity, and scaring the hell out of my little girl. So I'm taking it personally. I don't know what you've done in the years since you washed out of DCA. Did you hide under a mask or a new identity, work hard, and come back to show everyone up? Did you sell your soul for some wrestling skills? Are you a really good fiddle player? It doesn't really matter to me. If you want credit for what went down at the eight-year anniversary, fine, you can have it. But I'm going to flip the script on you. You lead, you bleed. So how about this, Shimada? You versus me at redemption. You, the leader of the blood trail, and the forefront's significant other. You could start your return against a veteran wrestler and send a message to the principal through me. I welcome it. <laughs>